So welcome to the JMO Virtual Day of Dance 2021. And our second workshop of the day is John Earnshaw teaching a dance that he devised called The Celebration. And he's devised several lovely dances in his time. And um, I'm pleased to introduce John because I used to dance in Wakefield Morris uh, many years ago. And when the women used to wear this kit. <laughs> How lovely it was. How lovely it was. Anyway, so handing straight over to John now, tell you more about the dance. Right, thank you, Pauline. Well, welcome. Um, this should be the virtual dance tent, but um, I thought we'd mix it up and here we are in a pub. So welcome to the Polka Hop, the Wakefield's Morris pub. Um, now, if you want to come, let me know. <laughs> uh, the celebration was written around about 2007, 2008, because Wakefield was struggling for numbers. Uh, and so I devised something that could be danced just by one person. Now, if you've got more than one, you can make some interesting uh, formations from that. Uh, and you'll see quite a few videos on YouTube if you um, have a look, which will show you that sort of thing. Um, where it really comes in good is for mass dancers. The more people that know it, the more can join in, obviously. Uh, and I've asked Pauline to play a video that shows a mass dance that we had during the beer cart festival a few years ago. Uh, and I'll hopefully just be able to uh, say a few words during it as it plays. So please, Pauline, if you wouldn't mind. Yeah. Let's go straight into the step up. Now, the dance, oh. <laughs> the dance includes figures and steps from other dancers, as well as things that are new to, uh, to this dance itself. That one there, that's the first figure. I've named it Failsworth. It comes almost directly from the step up of the dance Failsworth that was taught by Bill Morris back in the 1980s. There were six figures all together. In between each one was this chorus. This next figure, which obviously we'll get to in the um, workshop, is Walk and Stamp. It just adds a bit of opportunity to hear the clock stamping. Uh, there's opportunities as well for the music to go quiet at that point. Now you'll see we've got um, dancers from a number of different teams there and a number of different styles. Now it's fantastic if you learn celebration with your own team and style. As long as you move in the same direction, keep your top with them the same, it'll all fit together on this. The figure here is West Breton, it comes from the dance I wrote for Wedding of Morris. Generally done to 9 8 time, so it's not an exact copy, but the moves are there anyway. And this figure is called Royton. Hopefully, you will see Newcastle Kingsmen in this. Lovely backwards move with the feet. He's got an excellent arm. <laughs> no, he is one. They dance in the centre every single time. If you've got a mass dance like this, it's hard sometimes to hear the calls. So if you already know what's coming, it helps a lot. This one has some slow side steps as seen in some of the uh, more traditional dancers. And the Prescott turn at the end. See other dancers and um, others having a go, even though it's from public breakfast. This is the final figure which eventually brings in standard single stepping poles. It's finished off just with the corners but on the spot. Going through all of it. Thank you, Pauline. Um, what was at the end of the video, and if you find it on tube to have a look later, uh, there's also a dance off. And the chorus steps work for a dance off, and you can all dance off in line. Okay, so let's get to it. We'll start with the chorus. 
Uh, any questions, please pop them up on the comments. Um, oh, thank you, Simon, for, uh, yes, that's the, the list of the steps there, uh, the figures. Any, um, any comments, please put them in, and Pauline will no doubt shout at me and say, have you seen this one yet, John? Right. All choruses. Oh, hang on. Hands work. Wakefield use sticks. Now, it's a team preference. Whatever you use, you don't have to use anything. But as you know, in Northwest and in Cotswold, the sticks emphasize where the hands are. Okay, so it can make things more showy. So it is a good idea to use something. Wakefield use sticks, and we point them apart from the one figure in the direction of the hands. So they're an extension to the hands. But we'll ignore the hands to start with and just have a look at the stepping. Hopefully you can all hear me okay. I should be visible in the back camera as well. Oh, come on. Oh, nice. Should be visible behind as well. Um, the chorus takes us in a rectangle and we're going to go forwards three steps with turn to our left and go backwards two steps worth and turn to our left then we're going to go forwards three steps turn to our left backwards two so it's three out three to the side three back oh, sorry, two to the side three back uh, down and two back to place always turning to face left every single corner and you end up Forward for part of it and backwards for another part. So the steps. Walk three, forward. One, two, three. That's the easiest bit of the, the whole dance, probably. And then do two kicks. It's actually a change of feet. So you wait on your left foot, you're going to change onto your right and change back onto your left. But it's, it's reasonably quick. So it's walk, walk, walk. Oh, sorry, it's not Sarah. Sarah talk sometimes. Um, walk, walk, walk. Sorry about that. Polka, and then two back. So break the polka down. Usually in the polka, we go polka step, polka step. Normally that's called a polka. They cross bit with the hop and the step. Break it down. You're just going to do the cross bit to turn, but the step is bringing you backwards. John, can I ask what foot you start on, please? I'm a, <laughs> I'm a little behind. Sorry, Simon? What foot do you start on? Is it left Sorry, right? everything, everything, all the figures, all the choruses, all start left foot. Okay, thank you. Some Good of the figures will swap to right foot. Well, in fact, the chorus swaps the right foot halfway through, but everything starts on the left. So, what three? Pocker. The step of the polka takes you back, and then one more step backwards. Okay. Timing wise, it's one, two, three, polka, step, step. Once you've got to the second corner, it's then two kicks. One, two, to turn to face left. So just try all of that, and that's halfway through the chorus. The other half is exactly the same, but starting the right foot. So we'll start with the left foot. Walk, 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 step, step, kick. Everyone okay with that so far? Walk, so it's left, right, left, polka, right, left, kick, kick. Left, right, left, polka, right, left. At this point, your right foot is now in the air. Throughout the dance, there are changes of feet, but there's nothing funny. There's no fudge steps. If you just follow the whole of the step, you should end up with your weight on the correct foot. So for the second half, your weight is on your left foot, and we're going to do exactly the same. So it's right, left, right, walk back, walk back, walk back, kick. And you're back where you started. Your weight should be on your right foot, with your left foot ready to go for the first figure. John, we've just had a request. Perhaps you could put your sticks down because of the bells. <laughs> Sorry. I was going to ask. Excellent. Thank you. 
So, let's try it all together. Forget hands for the moment. On the count of three, we'll walk forward, left foot. Two, three. Left, right, left, polka, right, left, hip, hip. Right, left, right, polka, left, right, hip, hip. And you should end up where you started with your left foot in the air, ready to start a figure. Any problems on there? Can't see any. Excellent. Right, hands. I will just pick the sticks up to this. I'll put them back down again when I've shown you. So the chorus. Start with your hands out to the side. On the first step, they're going to go across in front of you. Out on the second step. Back across. Then both go up by the side of your head for the polka. And for the step back, they start coming down. The final step, they back down again. And then the two kicks take them back up. So one, two. So just do it once more with the sticks from the front. So it's across, out, across, up, down, down, up. And then from here, the last thing is to go out. So that you're back in the hands out position that you were at the start of the chorus. Because you're going to do the same thing again. You're going to go right, left, right, left, left, left. End up where you started. Now, Pauline did comment to me yesterday that the co one, chorus is one of the hardest bits of the dance. So what we'll do is dance it through a few times with music, see how everyone gets on, and I'll take questions after that. Uh, talking about the music, what Wakefield uses um, the gallopede. Uh, the dance itself is split into 24 bars. Eight bars for the chorus, 16 for each of the figures. So they're using A, B, C. Now, we get used to then always dancing the chorus on the A's. If we're going to keep doing a few choruses, beware the music will change into the B's and C's. So let's just try that. Uh, let's have a look. Long intro. From the beginning would help. So here's your intro A and then into an A. Left foot this time. One, two, three, four, back, back. One, two, three, four, and again, straight in, left foot. I'll just stop there. I see not a lot of people joining in. Is it too fast or do you want to walk it through again? I think it's too fast. Can we dance it without the music? Maybe. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. I'll also slow I'll also it down for next down time with this as well. Okay. Start again. Right. So very slowly. Walk three, polka to turn, walk backwards, two kicks. On the count of three, two, three. Left, right, left, polka, back, back, kick, kick. Right. Again, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Left, right, kick. Left, right, left, kick. Right, left, kick. Right, left, right, kick. Right, kick. Again, what what can I do to help? John, do the do the sticks go down on the last kick? They go yeah from up there up on the first back, kick down on the last kick. That's right. So they go up on the first one down and the second. Out on the second, last one. Okay, thank you. 
They're then back down, ready to start the next figure or the next chorus or whatever it is we're doing. Any other questions? Okay, let's just try it without music a few more times. Left foot start. I'll just walk it through. I know there's quite a few of you not actually doing it, so let's walk it through slowly. So it's left, right, left, polka, back, back, change, change. Right foot's in the air, let's go right, left, right, polka, back, back, change. Change. You're back where you started, left foot in the air, ready for the next figure. Shall we just try that with music, which should be slightly slower this time? Are you ready? It's time! Left, right, left. you had a go at the chorus we'll be doing plenty of them um, although sometimes I'll go straight into the next figure we'll also be going um, doing the chorus so that you learn going from the chorus straight into the figure so you get lots of chorus exercise so the first figure is Failsworth uh, as I said when we had the run through of the um, mass celebration Taken from a dance called Failsworth, and it is essentially the chorus of that dance. One of the simpler dances that we do, the figures that there are. So, um, we're going to go straight forwards. Starting left foot, as with all the figures, it will be left, right, kick, kick, and then two polkas facing front. We're then going to turn by our right shoulder to face back the way we came. And that takes a total of two. So one, two, and then two more polkas facing the way we came. Okay, so that's halfway through. This is a figure that starts the same foot in each half. Okay, so you're going to do exactly the same then in the other direction. So the first half goes one, two, three, Polka polka, two more polka to turn, and two on the spot. Then you do it again. Walk, walk, kick, kick. Two polkas, turn back the right shoulder, and two on the spot. You can't really get more simple than that in Northwest. Um, everyone wants to get on the feet and actually give that one a go? We'll try it with slightly slowed music. Oh, hang on. We'll go straight into the, uh, the figure with a short intro. It's time, Failsworth. Walk, walk, kick, kick two polkas. Turn that right shoulder and two more holes. One more walk, kick, kick. Two walkers. Turn again that right shoulder and two walkers. Now, hopefully, you saw the hands movements I was using there. So it's sticks down for the walking forward. One, two. We come straight up for the first kick, stay there for the second. And then alternate hands to turn. Now Wakefield, um, use the same hand up as going across. I suggest you use what you're used to. So if you're used to doing 
Left foot across, right hand up. Use that. I'm used to doing the same foot across as the hand that goes up. So it's two alternate hands, turn, and then two with both hands again. So it's walk, walk, hit, hit, two pulses, down, turn, down, and go. We come down on the final stamp, ready to go out and into the next figure. Let's do a chorus followed by Failsworth. Short intro. <laughs> chorus this time. Left. Right, left, poker, right, left, kick, kick, right, left, right, poker. Failsworth, walk two, double kick. Two on the spot, turn by the right shoulder, and two pop on the spot. Walk, walk, kick, kick. Two on the spot, turn by the right shoulder, and two on the spot. Into the court. Everyone okay with that? Okay, so I was keeping up with um, written comments, thank you. Anyone need anything walking through? Okay. So we've got, I'm going to lose the cap, you may do the same. Okay. So we've done the chorus, we've done Failsworth. The next figure is Walk and Stamp, which very much does what it says on the tin. So starting from the position at the end of the chorus, which is, will be your left foot in the air and hands out to the side. We're going to walk directly to the left. So turn. And walk one, two, three, four. So your weight is now on the right foot. We're then going to stamp our left foot four times, just rocking back onto the right foot so that we can stamp again. So it's one, two, three, four. Starting facing a bit towards the front and then with each step moving round so you're facing more to the back. Okay, so just do that again. So you start from the middle, walking left, one, two, three, four, then stamp, 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 stamp. The last stamp puts your weight on the left foot, so your right foot is free to single step backwards. One, two, three, four, and polka to face front, and stamp. So the feet can get a bit confusing here. Uh, you need to wait on the correct foot. Now, one of my views is frozen on my screen. Is everyone else all right with the, the rear view, so to speak? No, it's all right for me. But... Ah, good, it's caught up now. Okay, so again, we're going to walk four to the left, four stamps, Four single steps back, starting right foot, because the stamps put your weight onto your left foot. Polka to face front, and stamp. And that stamp puts your weight onto your left foot. So that we do the figure again, to the right, and you've got your right foot ready to start the walk. I haven't quite as much room as I'd like here, um, but if all you do is adjust the length of your step, you don't travel as far. So from the chorus, you've ended up with left foot in the air, and it's walk, 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 stamp, left, two, three, four, single step back with your right foot, hold, face front, and stamp. Try it in the other direction. The stamp puts your weight onto your left foot, so you're going to start with the right foot going to your right. So it's right, left, right, left, stamp, right this time, two, Three, four, single step back with the left foot, hold the face front, and stand right. 
let's go try it with the music unless I hear any questions. Okay, um, straight into the figure for this one with a short intro. This time, walking to the left. So it's walk, walk, south left. One, two, three. Right foot back. Hold the face front. And step right. Step right. Left foot back. Hold the face front. And step. And you're ready for the chorus. Let's try the figure on its own again. This time, walk to the left. Left, right, left, right, down, left. Right, back. Hold space front and stand left. Right, left, right, left, right. Left, right, back. Hold space front and stand left. Any issues with that? Well, we'll go into the hands. Yeah, just look at the hands, see what they're doing. So both hands down as you walk to the side. It's the same in both directions. So down for the walk, down for the stamp. And here's a point where the music can add a bit of uh, a bit of extra by just going quiet. Stamp, 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 stamp. So as you come back for the single step, both hands go up. Stay up for the polka and back to stand. John, so just, we, can't, yeah, yeah. we can't quite see you in the iPad when you when you walk into the side. Maybe so the three of you do not walk as yeah. Do you not walk as far maybe? No, you're right. Um, unfortunately, if I do much about that, it's going to screw up any other. If I come forward a bit, you've got more of a chance. Okay. So the hands again. Keep them down as you walk left. Down for the stamps. Up as you come back. Hold space up with them up and just down for the stamp. So very simple. Keep them down. Down to the stamps. Up on the first step back. Up the page from, and then down to the stamp. Everyone fancy dancing that through with the music? Okay, no comments to the contrary. I'm still getting the signal there, it's just frozen on that screen. Uh, right, so music. Straight into walk and stamp. Short intro. Down to the left. Walk, 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 stamp, left. Right, from the back. Hold the face front. And stamp. To the right. Stamp right. Hold the back up. Single step back to the left. Hold the face front. And stamp. And then you get into the corner. Etc. Sarah, can you give me a thumbs up if you were seeing all that? You seem to have frozen. Right on my screen, but um, okay. if, if everyone can just do this, if they can see all right. Well, I think most of my screens are frozen, so uh, you can't tell. Oh dear, we have to. Can you hear me at all? Can you hear me? I'm Jenny. Yeah. Yes. Um, so is everyone okay? I'm afraid you're probably going to have to uh, put a, a comment on or shout up if you want anything else looking at. So we've yeah. done. Hey, yeah. Jenny said something. Jenny? Yeah, Jenny. Yeah, can you hear me? Um, when you've done the steps and you're going off at the, the angle, when you do the kick steps, 
are you going slightly right or slightly left to face the other direction? I can't quite get it. So is, is that in the figure we've just done, the walk and stamp? Yeah, yeah, the one right, the yes. stamp. The, the first half directly to your left, the second half is directly to your right. Does that answer your question? In, no, in the stamp steps where you're, I don't know if you oh, yes. when you're doing that, are you slightly going yeah, so, to the left or the right? <laughs> yeah. I've walked in that direction. Hmm. I turn to the direct, the, so my right diagonal from where I'm facing. So I'll swivel to turn diagonally for the first one, then work my way across, so I'm turned diagonally for the last one. Right, and okay, yes. There, did that answer that? Yes, thank you, that's fine. Excellent. Obviously, on the right-hand side, you're turning to that front diagonal again, and then to moving yourself round, so you've got the back diagonal before coming back. Great. Thank you. Anything else, anyone? Okay, figure number three, West Breton. For this one, it's hands behind the back all the way through. So if I've got sticks, there's a finish there from the chorus, they go behind my back, as, as per that. And it's... Uh, a balance challenge for you. We're going to do the same thing four times. We're just going to do it off the left foot, then the right, then the left, then the right. And if you can just get the hang of the order of what you do, that should talk you through it. So it's step. Now, you're going to go out on, if you're facing front, turn to the 45 degrees to the end. The diagonal, that's the direction you're going to travel. You're going to go one place out, then two places out, and then one place back, and another place back on that same diagonal. Okay? You do that by walking one step in that diagonal direction, drag the other foot up to it, step on it, and hop on it. Okay, so you're doing left foot start as always, so it's left, slide, right, pop. So you're on your right foot, left foot in the air to do a polka, to face left, finish the polka, and then pop. So you've now got your right foot in the air. I'll just go through that again. Not there. Step, slide, step, hop, hop, face left, and hop. And in this figure, it's all, <laughs> probably do as I say, not as I do, it's all about having a horizontal leg and your other, the bottom of your leg vertical down to your foot. Okay? Try that again. So it's hands behind the back. This is the balance bit. So it's step left, slide, step right, and hop. As I say, you're doing the same thing four times, that was it once through. You then do it with the right foot, so obviously you're going on the right hand diagonal, so it's step, slide, step, hop, hop, space left, and hop. You're now coming back with the left foot, slide, step, hop, space left, and hop. Step, slide, step, hop, space left, and hop. So if you can remember, step, slide, step, hop, poker to face left, hop. And at the end of that hop, there's that little pause where you've got to try and not fall over. John, can you say that again for me, please? The yeah. Step, slide. Step, hop. Step, hop. Polka to left. Is that when you turn? Polka turn? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, polka to face, so you use the polka to turn and face left. Okay, and then, and then hop. That, that's the movement. Step, slide, step, hop, polka turn left, hop, repeat. That's, that's the movement, but you do exactly that four times. As long as, 
so during the slide that isn't putting your weight on that foot okay it's not you do a step slide then the step to put your weight on it so let's just try it again nice and steadily without music but I'll count you in two three step slide step hop walk into base left and hop step slide step hop hop space left and hop step slide step hop hop space left and hop step slide step hop hop space left and hop and then your left foot's in the air ready for the chorus and your hands just come out into it any questions on it before we try it with music okay it is really practice and just getting that step slide step hop poke to face left and hop and doing that at the same time as thinking it through right i shall put the music on a quick intro and straight into the figure <laughs> And off we go. Step, slide, step, hop, hop, space, left, and hop. Step, slide, step, hop, hop, space, left, and hop. Step, slide, step, hop, hop, space, left, and hop. Step, slide, step, hop, hop, space, left, and hop. Then you're ready for the pulse. Everyone okay with that? Practice, practice, practice. It just get get that's it. Get to the body memory. Right. Um, I'm suggesting if everyone's happy that we do the whole dance from here so far, starting with the chorus. Is that okay with with everyone? John, you've got a question. It says, "Is it going around a square?" But it's not, is it? It's too. It's not. Lines. It's going. It's going out on the diagonal and back on the same diagonal. So it's just a line that you go for one way and back on. So each time you start, you're going on a 45 degree. And that takes, so if I do it as if I was facing that way, which is, to me is a, a diagonal, I'd be coming that way. Face left and pop. Then that way, so I'm just coming out straight towards you. Yep. Okay, so the whole thing so far, which is the chorus, Palesworth, Walk and Stamp, West Breton. Ready for the chorus this time. Left, right, left, poker, right, left, kick, right, left, right, poker. Fails work. Walk, walk, kick, kick. Two polkers, two to turn, and two more polkers. Walk, double kick. Focus, and turn right, two on the spot, straight into the chorus, left, right, left, poker, right, left, walk on the stamp, you're walking to the left, left foot first, stamp left, right foot back, hold face front, and stamp left, right foot, Stamp right, hold the back, single step back, hold the face front, chorus, down, All right, where's the step to the left, 
If you got through that lot, very well done. Excellent. Right, we better keep moving on. The next figure is Royton. Again, left foot start. You may want to concentrate on the, uh, the rear view to start with. So your left foot's in the air after the end of the chorus. So your left foot is going to go to the back left diagonal with a hop on the right. From there, you do another hop on the right. So your weight is essentially staying on your right foot. That goes across behind. So you've gone from end of the chorus, left behind, across behind. And then it goes front left diagonal, across to the right diagonal, Back to the front left diagonal. So the rhythm of it is slow, slow, quick, quick, quick. And you're now, your feet are in the diagonal line with your left out forwards. At this point, it's a foot change. So it's a, your weight's still on your right foot. So it's a jump from here to putting the right foot behind on the right diagonal. So you're going from there to there. Keeping your feet on that same diagonal line. And that starts the same figure, but with the right foot. So you've done one, the foot goes across, and then in front, in front, in front. Putting all those together, we go left out front, up, sorry, left behind, across behind, in front, in front, in front, right behind, cross behind, in front, in front, in front. At this point, we're going to turn to face backwards to do the whole, that whole figure again, facing the other direction. It gives the audience behind a bit of something to look at. We get there by stepping right, kick left, sorry, left, kick right, right, kick left. Left, keep right. It's a bit like the uh, country dance change. Or some people call it a dancey dawson. But that's what we're doing. We're doing, uh, well, starting with the right foot. But to turn and face down the other way. So let's go through the whole of that first half of it again. So it's left foot is going to go back behind. Across behind, in front, across, in front, change, left, right behind, right behind, in front, across, in front. Step right, step left, step right, step left. Weight is now on the left foot, ready to go back foot behind, across, in front, across, in front, left behind, across, in front, across, in front. And step to turn, starting left foot, and you end with the left foot in the air ready for the chorus. So let's run through the whole of that without the pause in between the halves. So remember, it's going behind first, then in front, across in front. Turn with a step hop. And right behind, across, in front, across, in front. Left behind, across, in front, across, in front. Turn with the step up. Before anyone needs to ask, with the foot tapping, there's always a hop goes with it. So for the first half, as your foot, left foot goes back, you're hopping on your right foot all the time. So it's hop. It just gives it a nice bit of rhythm. 
If you haven't the energy by that time, probably not many people would notice if you didn't actually fulfill the hop. So all the way through that figure, nice and reasonably steady, I'll count in. And its left foot is going to the left diagonal behind. Two, three, behind, across, in front, across, in front, change, behind, across, in front, across, in front, step, hop, step, hop, step, hop, step, now right behind, across, in front, across, in front, left behind, across, in front, across, in front, step, And into the chords. Any questions before we try it with the music? Is the tapping leg straight or bent during the taps in front? Um, that's a good question. What was I doing? So I'm behind. So essentially, yes. But it's not a rigid fixed knee. Okay. And then the same, but the other foot, yes. Um, no more questions? Back, uh, back, cross, front, cross, front. Yep, spot on, Simon, thank you. Uh, Straightish, yes. <laughs> right, straight into the figure with a short intro. <laughs> straight into the figure this time. Back, front, right back, front, step, right back, across, front, the left, step. Okay. What I'd like to do now is exactly the same again. But chorus first. Okay. Oh, John, what do the, John, what are the arms doing, Royton? Oh, okay. Yeah, thank you. Fairly boring arms. Right, at the start I mentioned with the sticks, they're just a, an extension of the hands. This is the one, ex, uh, one exception to that. So as we do the behind, try and get candlesticks. All the way through the figure. Yes. Not not out not out to the sun like a crucifix. Just nice and gentle. Relaxed, but out to the side. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, with a chorus. This time what Right foot, right, and this time left foot back, right foot back, turn, right foot back, turn, right, let's do another one, chorus again. That was Royton. Any questions on Royton? No, excellent. Well, well done, everyone, for getting through that one. Ah, next to last figure, slow sidestep. Just like in walk and stamp, we're going to go to our left and then back. This time we don't go to the right and back. We're going to the left, exit directly to the left. 
and back. So, it's step one to the side, step together. Left to the side, step together. We now get what I call a Prescott turn, so it's hand up to the denote the direction you're turning in, so it's by the left shoulder, four steps to turn, left, right, left, right, it's turn all the way, and then four kicks, forward, back, forward, hang on, right, get back on forward first, ah, step onto your left, kick forward with your right, kick back with your right, kick forward with your right. That now gets your weight on your left foot and your right foot free to go back with the same thing the other way. Step right, left together, step right, left together. This time turning by the right shoulder, one, two, three, four, step right, and the left foot forward, left foot back, left foot forward, and you're ready for a chorus. So I just go through the whole thing without a pause. Now sticks, I'll do the sticks at the same time. Very simple. Candles in front of you. And then as you go around the do the press got turn at the end, one stays where it is, the other one goes up, so you know which shoulder you turn by. And then back down here for the sideways steps. So it's left, together, left, together, turn left, left, right, left, right, step, left, kick, back, and kick, right, together. Right, together, turn right, right, left, right, left, step right, keep forward, back, keep forward, and you're ready to go into the chorus. Any questions on that before we need a good pelvic floor? You might do it. <laughs> um, uh, with the music, straight into the figure. Short intro. This time, step left, right, left, right, turn left, four step left, then keep forward, forward, and right, together, right, then turn right, one, two, four step right, keep left, and into the corner. Okay, is that all right for everyone? Right, we've got... Is this the bit with the shoulder? <laughs> yes, for customs and exiles, this is the bit with the shimmy. Okay, um, as I say, I think all teams should have their own style. Customs and exiles do a nice sort of down and a shimmy. Down and a shimmy. Fine by me. I don't want to do it that style, but it's fine by me if they do. <laughs> um, okay, let's look at the final figure, and then we can run through any little bits that you want um, a bit more time with. So the final figure just brings in standard single stepping and poultry, and then a bit of the chorus that you already know. So. Um, We've used the left diagonal before. We've also got a right diagonal and the straight forward. We're going to use all three of those. So on the left diagonal, going out that way, it's, well, I'll call it four single steps and we'll break it down to confuse everyone then. So it's one, two, three, four, and two polkas back. And you end up where you started, having single steps out, polka back, then you do it to the right diagonal, and hold them back, do it to the front. Okay, so we've used all three directions, the front diagonal, right diagonal, and the front. Now, I said we break it down, just in case there's any pedants in the audience, which uh, I can be sometimes, it's not really four single steps. It's one, two, three, and a stamp. Because that gives you then the impetus to go backwards with two polkas. 
Once you've got there, you actually tend to put in another little hop before going out. On the other diagonal. A little hop to get you going. And a stamp. Each of those is left foot start. Okay? So if you think about it, four single and two polka, I think your feet will just do the intricacies that I've just been through. Um, if they don't, don't worry about it. It just helps me move in the right direction. And as long as you're moving the same direction as everyone else in the mass dance, then you're going to be reasonably safe, as are those around you. Um, so that's nearly the full final figure. Where did I put the six? Sticks during that bit. So, down for the single steps and both up by your head to the pulses. Down for the single steps, both up by your head to the pulses. Down for the single steps, both up by your head to the pulses. That leaves four bars of music. We fill those with half of the chorus that done on the spot. So you've already got the rhythm, you just need to be able to do it without moving. So it's left, right, left, polka, right, left, and there's your finishing position. So you've got the left diagonal, and pull back, single steps on the right diagonal, and pull back, single steps forwards, pull back, and half the chorus on the spot. And it's a big finish. Okay, um, I think we've covered everything in that, so let's just go straight into the figure. Uh, yes, it is. Thank you, Sarah. Okay, shout final figure. A sort of subtitle is left diagonal. Just to remind people to go off in the correct direction. So we'll try the figure with a short intro. Missed. This time, left diagonal. Off the back. Right diagonal. Off the back. Forwards. Off the back. Half a chorus. Left. And it is customary for the music to stop at that point, honest. So, what time is it? Half past 12. So, we've got another half hour if we need it. Um, can we just have boats? We could go through that second half with choruses in between. Yeah, right. So, we'll do a Short intro and into a chorus. Chorus this time. First figure is right turn, left foot back. In front, right foot back. In front, turn. Right foot back. Finish. 
Go right, on. this will be the perfect time to have a few questions. Could we do that last chorus for the just to slow the oh, last on, chorus on the spot, just to end the air? Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you. So the normal chorus, you walk forwards. It's exactly the same stepping, but you're doing it on the spot. So I step left, right, left, polka, right, left, then kick, kick. Through there once, once more, a bit faster. Uh, yes, please. Slow again. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So left, right, left, polka, right, left, kick, kick. Then at normal speed. Okay, so left, right, left, polka, right, and the hands are as per the normal chorus, across, up, down, down, up, and out. Thank you, Simon. Thank you. Oh, anything else while we all recover? Silence is golden, as they say. I can't believe there aren't any questions. I can't either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone, had a, someone had a question from earlier about West Breton. Um... I would like to do West Breton again, please. Absolutely fine. Yep. If you've time. Yes, we've plenty of time. Okay, West Breton. So it's the same thing four times. It's off the left foot, then the right foot, then the left foot, then the right foot. And um, if you can remember, try and remember that order. Step, slide, step, hop, polka to turn left and hop. And I've done it so many times with that going on in my head, it's just natural now. And it may be that you'll have to do the same. But anyway, hands behind your back. So it's step, slide. Step right and hop right. Hold the face left with the step and hop. Okay, and that is the same thing four times. I'll just go through that one again and then continue it along the same diagonal. Okay, step, slide, step, hop, hold face left and hop. Step, slide, step, hop, hold face left and hop. Step, slide, step, hop, hold the face left and hop. Step, slide, step, hop, face left and hop. Is there any bits of that that you'd just like a bit more on? John, which foot, when you slide, you step, slide, do your feet come together at that point? They come together, but your right foot isn't getting any weight on it. Okay. So left, slide to get them together, but then you do a definitive step onto the right foot, and then hop. So it's a stamp on the right, hop on the left? Um, no, it's hop on the foot you've stamped on. So step, slide that step, and then hop on that foot. Okay. Yeah. 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 So left foot up. Yes, the first time. Left knee up. I'm just trying to work it out. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so after that first step and slide, your left knee will end up by the polka, then your right knee ends up because you're going to use that first going in the um, forwards in that direction again. So then you slide, step and hop on the left. So the right knee comes up, turn left. And hop so the left knee comes up. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Oh, anything else? I'm a relative beginner to Northwest. What angle should my arms be at when my sticks are up? Ah, okay. Um, it very much depends on team style. So if you're on your own, it doesn't matter. It's up to you. Okay, but if your if your team puts uh, that bit of arm horizontal, that bit vertical, and you step sticks horizontal forward to back, 
then that's what you should be doing. That's the, the Wakefield style that I try and do, even if it doesn't look like it sometimes. Okay. Oh, right. Yeah, um, Ross says, it's a lovely dance, but it's very long and I'm getting a bit lost at times. Don't worry about that. I mean, when I um, teach this in workshops, um, I've generally said when, when people start feeling a bit lost, don't worry because this is more like A-level Northwest. Um, if they stop doing A-levels, I'll have to find another term, but uh, it, it is fairly tricky to get your, uh, your head round and you can't beat practice. Now, Pauline um, does have a link, which I'm sure she'll make available later to uh, a video workshop that I did. And again, I talked through each bit on it uh, and you'll be able to use that to recap anything. Yeah, we'll send the note John's notation and John's video. I'll send it on a, an email after the event. Um, That's lovely. Thanks, Pauline. Yeah. But there's no, but you might as well try it now again. Well, I, I, John well, here. I was going to suggest all the way through if yeah. you've got energy. Yeah, right. So with the music, I'll leave it um, slightly slower. Uh, the whole thing. So this has got the long intro. It gives me time to get back to my starting position. If I start it at the start. Right. Okay. I'll use sticks. This time, left foot start with the chorus. Turn backwards. Right foot. Bailsworth, walk, walk, kick, kick. Two points to turn. Two on the spot. Walk, walk, kick, kick. Two points to turn. Next one is walk and stamp. We're going to go to the left. So it's walk four. Left. Right foot back. Off the face front. And stamp to the right. Stamp right. Hold. Uh, single step back. Hold the face front. Chorus. Is West Breton. Step to the left, diagonal. Together, step, hop, hold the face right. Right, together, step, hop, hold the face left. Step, slide, step, hop, hold the face left and hop. Step, slide, step, hop, hold the face left and hop. Chorus. Hold the back. 
Keeping up with that. Thank you, oh, don't start again. <laughs> right, any last questions having uh, tried to rush through that again? Could we do the whole sequence without any music and just do it a bit slower for everyone? Is, would that be okay? It would, or I can slow the music down yet more. Yeah, I'll, I'll slow it down a bit. So. It's harder to slow it, Simon. It's harder for you, but it might not be harder for everyone. Then. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, go on. He's sent in the ranks. <laughs> <laughs> Is that okay? Just, um... Yeah, well, we're just doing it at uh, 0.9 speed. We'll try it at 0.75. If I fall over, don't be worried, I'll be fine. <laughs> You'll be alright, you're in a pub. Exactly. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're not open yet, so the taps are empty. Oh, oh bad planning. You've not got no bottles of wine in those fridges. Yeah. <laughs> they had a year ago, but strangely, over the last 12 months, they've all disappeared. Oh, <laughs> And the, and the barrels in the cellar. Oh, yeah, yes. <laughs> right, the whole thing. slow speed with a long intro. Thank okay. you. No problem. I'll just blow my nose so I can breathe. It's, it's a little bit dusty in here, but it's not been used for a while. Okay. Uh -huh. I feel that way, John. I've not been used in a while. <laughs> <laughs> First time I've danced in a year, so thank you. Oh, right, everyone ready? Hopefully. Here we go. Try and get that speed into your head. Chorus this time. Left foot. Thank <laughs> you. 
Slow side step. Slow side step. <laughs> step left, kick right. Step to the right. Right, together. Turn right. Step right and kick left. Chorus. John, that was great. Thank you. Well done. I did it at that speed so I can actually watch the video back and learn it. <laughs> yeah. um, when I'm sure. That was really good. Yeah. I, I like that speed for learning, actually. That was a great. The speed. music that uh, I set going then already has the calls in it, which I'd forgotten. So I think, again, Pauline has a copy of that if anyone wants it, so that you can just play that and that will do the calls for you. Brilliant. Any last questions? Has anyone got a BiPAP machine? <laughs> <laughs> if we get a chance to do it again this afternoon. Oh, yeah. yeah. Indeed, yes. <laughs> if we've got any breath left. I think the poor, poor man has suffered enough, don't you? No, we have to do it. No, we have to do it. John doesn't have to do it if he doesn't I'm, want to. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. What what time is the celebration in the mass dance? Do we it, know? It's in the order that uh, you've got in the email and on the website. So okay. it'll be about five past four. It, it's the, it's yeah, we're, we're second on. Second on, yeah. So about yeah, five second on. dancing. So do oh, turn up for that. Okay. It's a very difficult dance to learn in one workshop, though. It's, it's don't please don't beat yourself up if you if you haven't got it perfectly. <laughs> Absolutely not. Good. I've, I've yeah, never thanks, done thanks, John. Yeah. Any... Pleasure. Oh, thank right. you. Oh, and I just want to say I really, really enjoyed that and very well done. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> well, it just remains. I think we'll just let John Earnshaw go a bit early then, if that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So I just want to say thanks to John Earnshaw and uh, the uh, music was recorded by Liam Parker. That's right, isn't it? Of oh, Wakefield, yeah. yeah, and White Rose. So uh, thank you very much, John. If people could unmute themselves and give him a round of applause and don't forget to turn up at about five past four. Thank you, John. Thank you. And well done, everyone. Thank you, Sarah, for the, 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 the chat as well. But the next yeah, that, yeah, that was really helpful, Sarah. Yeah. 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 Thank you. That's great, thank you. Thank you all for coming. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day.